Drugs are robbing our children of their future. Kids barely in their teens are offered everything from marijuana to cocaine, ecstasy to Ritalin. One in three meet those dealers right in the hallways and campuses of their schools. Billions are spent on programs trying to reach kids with little or no impact on teen experimentation. And by the time they graduate, more than half will have used illicit drugs. All while drug-related crime and violence among young people continues to rise, threatening their lives and the safety of their community. But helping young people lead lives without drugs is the foundation for a drug-free world. Sponsoring the largest non-governmental anti-drug campaign on Earth. For more than 20 years, members of the Church of Scientology and volunteers from like-minded anti-drug organizations have conducted drug education and prevention programs under the banner, Say No to Drugs, Say Yes to Life. Because a child's first encounter with drugs can happen at any age, the answer is to get to them before the dealers do. And that's what the Foundation's Drug-Free Marshall Program is all about. Sponsored by civic groups, business leaders, and governments, children take a pledge to lead a drug-free life. They, in turn, sign on as marshals to swear in their classmates, building the foundation for a drug-free life and a safer community. In San Diego, California, primary school children signed up on banners right in their school playground. In Philadelphia, it was a drug-free event at a community center for inner-city kids. And once empowered, children take their drug-free message everywhere. Drug-free marshals in St. Louis, Missouri, swore in that city's narcotics squad. While in Los Angeles, they give the oath to everyone. From Hollywood tour bus drivers to patrolmen on Hollywood Boulevard, Narcotics officers and even city leaders take the pledge to set an example as members of the drug-free marshals. And so it goes, with letters of appreciation pouring in from officials across three continents, from Canada to Japan, Mexico to Taiwan, drug-free marshals is truly a worldwide movement. In all, more than three million drug-free marshals have taken the pledge in the name of a new drug-free generation. But if that's helping the youngest, it's teens that are in the greatest danger of falling into the drug trap. With a series of educational booklets and activities designed especially for teens, the Foundation launched its Truth About Drugs informational campaign. The first booklet gives the full overview of drugs, how they work, and what they do to the body and mind. Then there's one covering every drug of choice. No preaching, but just giving the straight facts, the history, street names, and the short and long-term effects of use. Available in some 20 languages, concerned businesses and governments help sponsor massive distribution to every part of the globe. In Great Britain, over 800,000 booklets have been handed out in the streets as a deterrent to teens. In Greece, the foundation team pass out booklets in the center of Athens to reach both residents and tourists. And across the rest of Europe, in Amsterdam, in Brussels, and throughout Italy, millions of booklets have been distributed, replacing drug myths with the truth and giving teens the information they need to lead drug-free lives. But to turn the tide of the drug crisis means raising drug awareness across whole populations. To build a national anti-drug base across the Czech Republic, Foundation members set out on a marathon from northern Bohemia to the capital city. At every stop along their 2,000-mile route, they delivered anti-drug seminars in schools and community centers to kids of all ages. Then, civic, education, and law enforcement leaders in more than 40 towns and villages signed on, culminating in the chamber of the National Senate in Prague. 
In neighboring Hungary, their annual anti-drug marathon is co-sponsored by the National Civil Guard. Making stops on their 42-day run, they lectured at sports centers, gymnasiums, and schoolrooms. Along the way, no less than 30 mayors came on board to lend their support. All of it amidst a flurry of national headlines proclaiming 10 anti-drug days across 307 towns and villages. So it goes, in country after country, with nearly 100,000 public awareness events and lectures across more than 50 nations. And all of it flanked with public service messages on billboards and over the airwaves. In recognition of the size, scope, and success of the Foundation for a Drug-Free World's campaign, the European arm of the Foundation was appointed to the UN Office of Drugs and Crime as official advisors to help even more avoid the plague of drug abuse. It is possible to reverse the trend of drug abuse in our society. The results of these programs have been proven to effectively empower youth so they can make the right choice about drugs. Anyone can help by supporting a drug-free Marshall program or providing for distribution of education kits to children in their community or city. By joining the Foundation for a Drug-Free World Crusade, we can all help steer an entire generation away from drugs and set them on course for a drug-free future.